That was Chris and Ollett in training this week. But before we speak to the couple themselves, here's a reminder of how they got on with their Viennese waltz last weekend. Well, this week we've got the Viennese waltz, and I've somehow got to turn myself from that horrible matador back into a romantic dancer. For me, it was a little tight of shoulder still, and I feel like you're wearing that tension actually on your face. Still, I'm being still... romantic. Better, Chris, better. I don't really agree with Bruno. I felt like there was something lacking, actually. Oh, I didn't feel oh. the romance. Oh, you want more now? Sorry. We oh. get one back on oh. that, so oh. well, you'll yeah. again. Oh. Seven. doing quite a good job with the romance. And we were very close, didn't we? <laughs> we? I mean, if we got any closer, we would have kissed. Just this point myself, because... No, no, no. The, no, the no, nerves no, get no, to no, me No, 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 no. It was good. Okay. I'm happy with that. OK. I'm happy with that. Very happy. I'm happy. The first couple through is... Chris and Ola! <laughs> I really cannot believe it. I mean, we've done 10 weeks now, we're into our, uh, the 11th week, and it's getting better. I thought I would have had enough by now, but I'm absolutely loving it. These little legs will keep going. But, yeah, we will keep trying, we'll but keep oh, trying. it's such a great feeling right now. Please welcome Chris and Ola. <laughs> um, I have to officially say that's my, almost my favourite ever, when somebody reads out a name, ever. Oh. You were like a three-year-old. I was so happy, Claudia. So happy. I screamed. I screamed in your <laughs> ear quite loud. Is that because you just didn't want to take it for granted? Or did oh, you think you might have I been in trouble? I was just so happy we went through. And, you know, you never, you're never safe on Strictly. You're yeah. really never safe. As, as well as you do on Strictly and you get the points and you, the judges are happy, you're never safe. So you've got to be prepared. For... It's amazing. She stands there. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. So I have to hold her hand. <laughs> He and then all you hear is like, I'm shaking. Chris and I'm shaking. Yeah! I know. Just the opera yeah. screaming. I get fingernails in the skin. It's brilliant. Um, <laughs> you really split the judges on Saturday. Were you quite surprised by that? It was quite interesting because Bruno said, I felt it. At least you yeah. said, I didn't feel it. We know, but basically, we know what we're going to get with Craig and Len. Yeah. And then we get Alicia saying, we, do you know what, Chris, we can't wait to see you dance next week. You were fantastic. You think, that's all right. Bruno, it was awful, but I liked you. And you think, right, next week, Bruno, you're brilliant. Alicia, I hated it. Right, back to the drawing board. And that's how we feel every week, isn't it? Every week is different judges. So. You have proper fans on the forums, if that helps. I have to read a comment. Um, this is from Alvon May. Yeah, baby, Chris and Ola are my <laughs> favourite couple this year. They improve every single week. They both look like they're having so much fun. Keep twisting his nipples to keep him moving. Well done, guys. <laughs> now go on and win. I saw that title on the forums, Tweaking Nipples! Exclamation mark, And I was thinking, I wonder who they're talking about. <laughs> Um, we should also mention on the Viennese Waltz that you, there was a mistake. You went a bit wrong and Mr Hollins, you brought it back. I would like <clears> to call <throat> it a change of choreography. Yes. Late, a very late change. Um, we, we went into pivots, I got very excited, didn't yeah. I? Basically the crowds <laughs> went screaming for the pivots, And then yeah. Chris gets into a funny mold and he just thinks he can change the choreography and he just goes a different way. Yeah. And then I followed and then I'm thinking, oh my God, what is he going to do next? And then he kind of got into the next step and he was fine. It's, so it's technically brilliant. it was not, right. So Te technically, technically he was right, he just changed the choreography and I didn't know what he's going to do next. It's just that wonderful feeling when you're like that and all of a sudden you feel Ola go... Yeah, and you go... Where's he going? Where's he going? As a viewer, we didn't know it. And as a gift for you, we've gone into the archives and we found a, a guide to doing well <laughs> as, as a boy in a dancing competition. Have a look. This is a public information film. The male guide to dancing and a televisual competition. Presented here are a few rules that should help see you through and beat the competition. Number one, remember that the little woman is always right. You've got to get it! You've got to do it, Chris! Come on, this is not a rocket science. Never question her, even if you think she's wrong. Don't have your... Okay. Zip it. Zip it. Um, Zip it. Surprisingly, they can be more expert than you may think. Especially when it comes to dancing. Think about this, men. It makes sense. Number two. Wearing complimentary uniforms can be beneficial to dancing. Ha! 
But steady on, old chap. This doesn't mean you have to wear a skirt. But the joint's uniform should help bring some purpose and team bonding to the table, young man. If you have your own slogan, even better. Yeah, baby. Number three. If you have any frustration when learning new dances, store up your demons and take them out on inanimate objects. You will feel better afterwards. If no obvious object presents itself, how about your face? Now that's a good fellow. Number four, celebrity dancer. No. Know your limits. So many thoughts going through my head. When you put too many things in Chris's <laughs> brain, it just doesn't work. Try to limit yourself to two, perhaps three, thoughts at a time. Hands, legs, feet, arm, posture. That's it, mister. Steady as she goes. So there you have it. Before you know it, you'll be dancing like a professional. And this could be you. That's for you, a little gift. That's brilliant, um, I love that. Let's look ahead. The Charleston, God, that's a difficult dance, isn't it? Because it's just so fast. People are expecting a lot from you. It is difficult and it's fast, but I've got to say we've got so much fun. We've been rolling on the floor from laughter this yeah. week. It's been hilarious, wasn't it? Yeah, you know in the 11th week you think we've got to concentrate on this competition. Yeah. People walk in and say, what are you doing? I have no idea. We're doing a pecking chicken at the moment and my posture's not quite right and in the moment we're going to be jumping all over the floor and doing some we've other moves. We've seen giggles. You've trained really hard. You have got, I think, a good song. The best song. The best, best song. song. It's Bugsy Malone. Well, before we play it, when it comes on, will you do just a couple of... Yeah. Well, you don't have do to stand up. Crew. Yeah. OK, yeah. all right. Okay. Here's your music. Anybody who is, anybody will soon walk through that door. At that sand, grand slam. <laughs> That's not <laughs> That is very funny. Um, guys, good luck. And also, good luck with, I believe you're moving in with your gorgeous girlfriend tomorrow. And very she's... serious girlfriend, you were going to say, very... weren't you? Well, they're your mum, because you're a very serious hey, girlfriend. Hey, and I've got... James is doing nothing at the moment. He's going to be picking a few boxes up yep. for me tomorrow. No! <laughs> I love it. It's wife swap, but in a good way. Uh, guys, good luck. Thank you so much. Chris and Ola. Thank you.